What's up, Internet? Current 1776 coming back at you with another video. So today we're going to do a product test. What I got here, we got in the mail recently, is this little solo stove right here. So this thing right here is pretty freaking cool. All I've done is kind of take a look at it. So now we're going to see how it works. It's called the Solo Stove Light right there. Pretty cool little deal right here. Packable, says it's suitable for one or two people. I mean, it should be great for boiling water and making backpacker pantry meals and things like that. So let's take a look at it. We'll fire it up and see how well it does. Boiling water, yeehaw. Out here at the pond, makes it even better. Let's take a look at it. All right, the Solo Stove Light. So that's what the box looks like. This is fueled by mother nature, clean burning, natural and renewal, renewable. Uh, comes in at nine ounces, about four and a quarter in diameter, almost four inches tall, 304 stainless steel with nichrome wire. Fuel is twigs and other biomass. Boil time, eight to 10 minutes. All right. Uh, cooking ring, secondary burn, hotter fire, less smoke. Holds fuel and aids airflow, the wire, great. It's got an ash pan, naturally draws oxygen. So there you go. As you can see, you can use, you know, an alcohol burner, you know, transit type deal if you want to. We're gonna use sticks like that. Okay, gonna tell you. I reckon that's it. There we are. There's your ring that you sit on top. So that's pretty cool. What's interesting about it is, is it is a double wall design. They must have uh, welded it, you know, together. So it's like almost, well, it's kind of seamless actually. Almost like it's all one piece. So. There's your wire. Down there's obviously your ash pan. As you can see, you get airflow in under the wire and up. And I guess as this heats up as well, you get airflow, kind of a superheated airflow into the double wall. It comes out here. It's a really cool design. And then your top piece goes on like that. You can sit your pot on top of this. And it's also got holes in it. All right, well, let's load this thing up, fire it up. All right, the solo stove. So I got an area cleared out right here. I got some sticks and all right here. I got some tinder here that I'm gonna put down in the bottom here. Some dryer lint. Always keep a bag of dryer lint on you. <laughs> got a bunch of sticks right here. I'm gonna add to it. Let them fit in there. That's what I got so far. Let's get this fired up. There we go. Put the firing on there. As that gets going, you can feed sticks. Yeah, you feed sticks in this way. So I'll let that get going, and then uh, we'll fill up a pot with some water. Yo. So what I am noticing, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but the holes on the inside up here at the top, it's really fueling that fire to shoot up kind of like a, a rocket stove kind of deal. So that's pretty cool. I don't know if y'all see that. Y'all see that? So yeah, that's coming along nice. Add a few bigger pieces here, just to aid and get it going. So what I got here is my trusty pot. Wow, that's flaming up good now. Look at that. That's flaming up good. All right. Yeehaw. All right, so I got my pot here. I'm gonna put some water in this. Woo, caught, caught my freaking beard on fire. Look at that thing. Well, she's on far, son. Look at that. That's good. Yeah, so I can really see how they've got the airflow design. Add our water so this isn't cold nor hot, kind of room temp. 
That's about half of that pot right there. I would assume that's a cup and a half or so, maybe two cups. Set that on top. It is 8.07 and 30 seconds. All right. See how it does. Boy, she's kicking, Jack. That rascal right there is on far. <laughs> See what I'm saying? I'm impressed. Airflow, airflow from the bottom goes through that double wall, feeds it at the top. It's also got slots at the bottom on the inside wall. I mean, very little to no smoke. It's actually pretty dang slick. It's gonna get some small bubbles showing up down there. We're about two minutes in right now. Stoves, you know, of this type with um, natural materials is you do need to be prepared um, to have plenty of, of sticks around to keep that fire going good because some of these designs, such as this one, this one I mean, it basically turns it into a, a furnace, right? The way that the airflow is designed so it can burn through material really quick. So for you to maintain the temperature you want, you need to be sure you have plenty of materials around so that you can keep feeding that fire. Um, you burn up all your material and you have to run out and find more material, you kind of got to start over again. So that's kind of a plus of using, you know, like an alcohol stove in, inside of this um, when you can, but that's personal preference, obviously, if you're prepared um, by having enough fuel. You're good to get no worries that could be a downside to some people I, I don't know i don't mind it i try to get enough sticks all right y'all we're starting to get a bowl now i've had to add some more sticks obviously um, for the last few minutes but she's starting to get to a bowl now as you can see we'll be rolling here in a little bit but just so you can see we're at 8, 19, 12, so I want to, if I remember correctly, we were at 8, we were at 8, 07, 30. So it's taken about 12 minutes-ish, um, which is on par with what they said on the packaging. And partly that's due to you having to, you know, you have to keep stoking this to keep that temperature up because it, it burns through material pretty good. So no biggie if you got the stuff. So there we go, starting to roll now. And it did it in the amount of time, kind of like it said, as you can see there, it's, burnt down the uh, fuel I had in there. So we ain't got a steady fire coming out, but we got a bowl. We got a bowl. So now that we got us a bowl going, right there, as you can see. Now that we got us a bowl going, let's check, take a look at the stove, see, see how it looks after being, you know, uh, burning in that heat like that. Don't miss out. Don't need that anymore. We got a really good bed of coals, and there's an awful lot of heat coming up off of that right there. So you don't necessarily need, you know, a full-blown flame coming out of this thing. Um, as long as you got a good bed of coals, some heat coming up out of it, you know, that will suffice. Obviously, having flames coming up and hitting the bottom of your... Uh, your pot is good, right? But definitely plenty, man, there's a lot of heat coming out. I'm gonna melt my phone. Definitely plenty of heat coming out of there for you to cook off of, for sure. With that bed of coals in there. A little bit of discoloration, which is to be expected, obviously, right? Yeah. So it's got that nice, you know, high temperature, patina to it, I'm gonna call it. <laughs> so, dump this out. Still got a couple stuck in there. Let it burn down, but there's your inside. So there's your, your, uh, your grates right here. They held up good. Yeah, 
too hot to touch. But I say it did a pretty good dang job. Come on. I dig it. I think it's a pretty cool little stove. I like little stoves like this. I mean, I've got my cook kit right there that I like to carry with me um, that has something similar to it. I don't know, I might switch it up and uh, put that in there and see how it goes. I wonder if that'll fit in my, I wonder if that would fit in my pot. Yowzer, that's hot. If it fits in my pot, I might have to add this to, to my kit for sure. There's my pot. Here's the solo stove. What? Yeah, I'm putting this in my kit. These things right here are awesome to have right here. Little fish, the mouth openers for fish. These are great to use with camp stoves and cook kitchens and stuff like that. So at any rate, that's the solo stove light from Solo Stove. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I dig it. I think it's pretty cool. I, mean, I like the size of it. Um, it burns fuel very well. You need to be sure you have plenty of sticks around because it does burn through fuel pretty quick, but that's a good thing. It's a clean burn, very little to no smoke. Um, does exactly what they say it does. It works. So. Let me know what you think down in the comments down below. If you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button so that you're notified of more videos. If you're watching on other social media platforms, as always, I appreciate that as well. Be sure to comment down below and share with your friends. Yeehaw. So I'll see you next time with another Battle Box video.